I have something brand new and improved to show you and it's going to be a game changer for my backup power system. Hey guys, John here with Backyard Maine. As you may know, I'm a big fan of being prepared when the power goes out. I have videos on generator connections, generator maintenance, and even generator safety. But generators are not very convenient. And unless you're running an inverter generator, they're not ideal for sensitive electronics either. As a result of this, power stations have become very popular over the last few years. They're clean, quiet, used inside the home, and they provide clean power that's safe to use with sensitive electronics like your TVs and computers. I installed the Anchor Solix F3800 and the home power panel last August, and then in November, I added an expansion battery. I'll link those videos at the end of this one. This system has been rock solid, and with the expansion battery, lasts between 14 and 24 hours during an outage, depending on how well we conserve. I was planning to recharge the battery of the F3800 with my portable gas generator, but I found out that that wasn't going to be possible without buying an inverter generator or charging with a charge converter connected to the solar inputs. But both solutions were limited either by the charge wattage or the ability to charge and run loads at the same time. A standard gas generator produces a modified sine wave, which isn't compatible with the F3800 or other battery power stations. On an outage that lasts less than a day, this setup is perfect. But if the power outage lasts longer than a day, I'd have to switch over to my gas generator for the duration of the outage, and then recharge the F3800 once utility power is restored. So the improvement that I really wanted to see was the ability to charge the F3800 with a standard gas generator while running loads at the same time. Well, guess what? Anchor listened to our feedback and they developed the Anchor Solix F3800 Plus. It's a brand new upgraded power station and I have one right here to test out and review. The F3800 Plus is very similar to the F3800 but with expanded capabilities. It can still be connected to the Anchor Solix home power panel and it works with the same expansion batteries. I have one expansion battery but you can connect up to six per power station. You can still use it as a portable power station to supply individual loads, power your RV, or connect it to your home for automatic or manual backup. So let's quickly compare the features between the F3800 and the F3800 Plus. Then we'll go into detail on the expanded capabilities. After that, we'll connect it up and try out all the new features. Let's do it. At first glance, they both look identical. They're the exact same size, but the F3800 Plus is about five pounds heavier. They have the same wheels and handles for carrying the unit or rolling it around. Looking at the front, the power station looks exactly the same. We have the power on off button, the display on off button, the display, the USB and USB-C outputs, the car socket output, the car socket on off button, and the button used to sync the device with the phone app, all identical on both power stations. If you don't know, the system can be set up, controlled, and monitored with the free phone app, which is one of my favorite features. Over here on the side, we have the AC output power block, and we still have the six 120 volt 20 amp receptacles. Each block of three receptacles can output up to 20 amps or 2400 watts, and the block of three receptacles on the left can be used as UPS backup when using the AC power cord. You would just plug the AC power cord into a standard wall outlet and into the unit, and these three receptacles can power a load like a computer, for example, without interruption, even if utility power is lost. 
it switches in under 20 milliseconds, which is so fast the loads are not affected. We also still have the L1430R twist lock receptacle, which can be used to supply your home, similar to your generator connection, or even supply an RV with a 240 volt plug. This can output a maximum of 25 amps at 240 volts or 6,000 watts of power. But we do have one change here on this power block. While the F3800 has a second 240 volt receptacle, a NEMA 1450, the F3800 Plus has a TT30R receptacle in its place. This is a 120 volt 30 amp receptacle commonly used to connect travel trailers or RVs. It provides up to 25 amps or 3000 watts of power at 120 volts. I'm sure travel trailer users will appreciate this new addition, but if you do need the NEMA 1450 offered on the F3800, it's not a problem. You can pick up an adapter and connect it to the 1430R receptacle and still have the same 6,000 watts of output. Let's take a quick look at the other side of the unit and then I'll introduce you to the star of the show. At least it's the star based on my needs. Over here we have the home power panel connection port, just like we do on the F3800 but with additional capabilities, which we'll cover in a minute. Then below that, we have the AC power input port used for charging the unit from a standard receptacle or for the UPS function, like I mentioned earlier. These are the same on both power stations. Below that, we have the two upgraded solar inputs. This is a very big change that many solar users were looking for. Each one of these ports are rated for up to 165 volts and up to 17 amps, providing a maximum of 1600 watts of charging power for each of the two ports. That's 3200 watts of total solar charging capacity. This is a significant upgrade from the 60 volts and 1200 watt max on the F3800. In addition to the increased charging capability, the higher voltage capacity allows us to wire multiple solar panels in a series rather than in a parallel, which can be beneficial depending on your specific setup. When wiring solar panels in parallel, we'll have constant voltage, but the current will increase as we add panels. Series wiring solar panels will increase the voltage as we add panels, but the current will remain the same. Wiring your solar panels in a series can be cost effective and it'll increase your energy production as long as the solar panels are located in an unshaded area. I have some solar panels that will connect up in a few minutes. Next, we have the expansion battery connection port. This hasn't changed on this new unit. We'll connect the expansion battery up in a minute. Below that, we have the newly added DC input port which is rated for a maximum of 60 volts and up to 120 amps. There's an image of what looks like a generator on the cover of the port, but other than that, we don't have any information on this port just yet. It is the same form connection as the expansion battery port. When asked, Anchor told me it's there for the integration of future devices, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see what those devices may be. Hey, before we connect the unit up to solar, let's talk about the ability to charge the unit with a standard gas generator. For me, that's the most important upgrade and I'm really excited about it. To do this, we'll use the Anchor Solix Generator Input Adapter. This baby right here. This adapter is only compatible with the F3800 Plus. It won't work with the F3800. But with this adapter and the expanded capabilities of the F3800 Plus, we should be able to keep the batteries charged indefinitely during a power outage. There are a couple of different methods we can use to connect this adapter, depending on your specific setup. The first option we have would be to connect the F3800 Plus to a 240 volt gas generator directly, or to an L1430R receptacle fed from the generator, like this one here. We would plug one end of the adapter into the generator feed, and the other end into the home power panel connection port on the F3800 Plus. The second option, and the one that I'll be using, is to connect one end of the adapter to my generator feed, 
and the other end to the second port on my home power panel. The beauty of these two connection options are the F3800 Plus will still supply backup power while also charging the batteries. This new system is designed to prioritize powering low devices first and then allow excess power to recharge the batteries. I should note that the 120 volt 20 amp receptacles on the power block will be disabled while charging with a 240 volt generator. With a 240 volt generator connected, the F3800 Plus will charge at a maximum of 3,300 watts with one F3800 Plus, or up to 6,000 watts with one or more expansion batteries connected. These values can be set up in the phone app for optimal performance depending on the capacity of your generator. You can also connect this to a 120 volt generator with the use of an adapter. All the details about that are listed in the user guide. Okay, let's get it connected. First thing, we'll connect the expansion battery. Oh, and this cable was provided with the battery. We'll push the power station over into place and connect the home power panel cable. Then we'll close the breaker and we should be good to go. Now I'll cut the main and let it automatically supply my loads. I ran the battery down a bit so that we could charge it back up with the generator. I have self consumption mode set to 19%. That's why we're seeing 81% charge and it's not trying to recharge. The output to my critical loads is at about 280 watts right now. At this value, we should have about 16.2 hours of battery life remaining. Okay, let's go out and connect up the generator. We'll connect our 30 amp generator cable to the generator first. Then we'll connect the other end to the inlet box. Let's see if it starts on the first pull. Now we'll connect one end of the adapter to the generator feed and the other end to the home power panel. We'll close the breaker and we should be in business. The white light on the adapter lets us know that we do have power from the generator. This is going to be great for those extended power outages. I can run the generator for a little while each day and keep my batteries topped off. We're currently recharging at just over 2700 watts. At this rate, it'll be fully charged in about a half an hour. You may notice that I have no output on the power station right now. That's because the home power panel is bypassing my generator power through to my critical loads. Anchor sent me two 410 watt rigid solar panels as well. Once the snow's gone and the ground is thawed, I'll be setting them up permanently. But for now, I just have them leaning against the house just to try out. I connected them in a series so we should have 75 open circuit volts. Okay, let's plug the solar into the F3800 plus. Wow, about 830 watts of solar charge. That's more than I expected with them just leaning up against the house. I'll make another video once I get them set up permanently. I think I can save some decent money on my electrical bill with solar and running the F3800 Plus in self-consumption mode. More to come on that. I'm really impressed with the upgrades on this new power station. If you're considering a battery power station for your home, I would certainly give the Anchor Solix F3800 Plus a hard look. It's a great value for what you actually get. They have some really great discounts going on right now as well. If you're interested, you'll find the links down in the video description. I'll drop a couple of videos right here for you to watch next. I'm John from Backyard, Maine. I'll see you on the next one.